This video contains footage from a product in development and is not reflective of the final product. Things like gameplay, content, tuning, assets, and player ratings may differ in FIFA 23. Hello, what's up ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? It is me, Lasty here, and welcome today to a new FIFA 23 video. Today, I thought I would go through a game mode or a couple of different game modes that I'm not particularly used to. Pro Clubs and Volta, and the customization of a player within those game modes. Alright, so I know there are a lot of people that absolutely love these game modes, and I just haven't touched on them yet so I thought hey why not why not go through the process of customizing a player on pro clubs and of course it does roll over into Volta this year so uh, I'll show you the the differences and stuff on that as well if you do enjoy do me a favor hit the thumbs up button and of course don't forget to subscribe uh, there's plenty of FIFA 23 content on my channel already so make sure you go and back to the channel and check it out now, uh, I've gone into pro clubs for the first time. There was a whole bunch of different, you know, stock characters that I could have chosen from the get-go. Um, and I chose one of them. And now we're going to basically customize and create it. Now, I did play pro clubs um, a little bit last year. Not too much, but I did play a little bit. It's, it's always a great fun game mode to play with your mates. So uh, I always get to the point where I've designed a character or created a customized uh, player. So what I noticed is that obviously there is there are some changes, um, but it's fairly similar, I would say, to the previous years. Any of you that are really well, well and truly into this game mode, then you're going to have to let me know uh, if you've spotted some good changes or or anything like that, or if we are pretty much uh, in a in, in a similar customization to the previous years. Obviously, uh, this year with it linking to Volta means that your character will sort of look the same. Um, it will have different clothes, obviously. In Pro Clubs, you'll have your custom kit or whatnot. Uh, and then in Volta, you can obviously buy the cool clothing items and stuff um, to make your character with his, you know, with his hairstyle and beard and tattoos and stuff look slightly different in that sort of street football setting. So, um, I typically, I call my character like my name and then I make it look something completely different to me. Um, yes, of course, it's pro clubs. You know, you can make these players look a little bit wacky. You can go for some, uh, some pretty crazy hairstyles and beard combos. The full beard with the French twist moustache, for example, um, I think will be a fairly popular one. Looks pretty cool. But I think in the end, I go for just like a casual beard. Um, and then we're going to get onto the hairstyles. So uh, I do what I would say like, you know, 80% of pro clubs players do right at the start. And then just go to like the premium, the, the long hairstyles, the ones that look pretty cool. Uh, and make you stand out on the pitch. So uh, we've got some pretty funky hairstyles there. I think I end up choosing this fourth one here um, with sort of like the lines shaved into it. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it doesn't look anything like Tom Lasty, but it's uh, it's the character that I'm going to go for uh, for my little pro clubs uh, customization video here. But yeah, of course, there you know you've got different sections of short, medium, long, uh, and those premium hairstyles. So there's lots of different cool things. You know, are you the sort of person that that builds a uh, a pro clubs player to try and look as close to you in real life as possible, or do you go for that sort of um, bright green? afro or something like that or the you know the the cornrows which are you know bright red or something like that let me know down below in the comments what sort of pro clubs or volta customization type of player you are um but yeah of course there are there, there's a whole ton of hairstyles that you guys can choose from um and of course being able to choose between a male and a female character uh, on this game mode means that you know there's there's literally stuff to suit all so uh it's pretty cool. Now, I am also the sort of person that typically goes for like a long sleeve shirt and then I'll go for um, goalkeeper pants. Doesn't really make a difference to me because I'll be an outfield player. I go for that tight fit jersey. Probably not something I would go for in real life. Any of you know what I look like? Um, I know I'm not on camera today, but uh, yeah, slightly on the larger side. So I probably wouldn't choose a tight fit in there. Tight fitting uh, kit for for me to wear in real life for sure no no chance of, of that um and then we get to the boots now boots that's a massive part of it for me yes you've got the the 1998 predator accelerate it's probably one of my favorite boots of all time um but we're going to end up landing on my favorite boots of all time all right and it, it takes a while for us to get through to it but um 
As you can see, there are plenty of boots. I'm sure a lot of the new boots that have come out from this season or cleats if you're watching from America or something. Uh, I know a lot of people call it cleats over there. But yeah, there's there's so many different types. Um, you've got some, some real cool ones, but it's this. It's the Nike Mercurial Vapors, the O2, the R9 Ronaldo winning the World Cup for Brazil. Uh, I had a pair of these boots. I can't believe I sold them because they were like one of 5,000. And I had a pair when I was playing football growing up. I can't believe I sold them. Gutted. Um, annoyingly, the one thing I w would have quite liked to have shown you, but I've since realized after the edit that I, I, I didn't really do it, was the tattoos. Um, but because I'm wearing like long sleeves, I've got long socks and gloves on, there was no real room for me to put tattoos on that would have actually shown for you guys. So apologies for that, but I'm sure a lot of you will have a lot of fun uh, testing out the new tattoo system and like giving yourself or making yourself look really cool in that. So uh, uh, good luck to you uh, in your tattoo adventures when you uh, when you eventually play pro clubs or Volta, of course. Um, lots of different options, I'm sure, going throughout the year. So we get to like the goal celebrations. I I recognise a lot of these from previous Fifas. Let me know if you see any on there on that list there that are new to the game this year. And of course, you've got your your set piece styles, your free kicks, your penalties, and all of that stuff. Um, I, I I pretty much go for like the CR7 stuff uh, and uh, a nice deep breath maybe for a penalty style is quite good. Sometimes the Samba, like Ronaldinho uh, penalty style would be be pretty decent to choose as well. I don't know, there's lots that you can choose. One of my favourite areas of the game that has got to be the running styles. Um, shout out to the T-Rex. I don't think I show it on here. But uh, there, there are some pretty funny running styles, and it does make you think of certain players IRL uh, <laughs> when you see certain and you see certain like arm movements and leg movements and stuff. Uh, but I think we end up just going for like, yeah, do we stick with the captain? I'm, I can't remember, or maybe the general or something. You know, one of them like midfield powerhouses. So that's your main uh, customization within pro clubs. Uh, and as you can see, I logged into Volta, and uh, my character Tom Lasty with his uh, with his nice big haircut. Is, is there already. So um, it's, it's a case of just wearing my Volta clothes now. So uh, you, you have some stuff, of course, that you already get. I'm sure you unlock it along the way and you can buy it from the store and whatnot. Um, but this is an area where you could, of course, change that hairstyle. I'm sure it would also change it back on pro clubs as well. Uh, but just go for that sort of street wear, street football type thing. Um, you can choose football boots. I wouldn't really... I don't think that works when you're playing Volta on like a... Uh, on a concrete pitch or whatever, I, you're not going to be, uh, you don't want to be like sharpening up your studs or wearing down your studs, do you? Um, you just want to be in some trainers or something um, or sneakers. Uh, and yeah, like there's obviously a, a Volta shop as well. So um, there no doubt will be lots of very cool things coming throughout the year for you to dress up in different ways. Uh, and of course with Volta, you can also customize like your, your other teammates. Um, so my suggestion would probably be to go for like a color scheme. Uh, I think I end up choosing like uh, a baby blue um, and buying a jacket from the store and then changing my my trainers to some baby blue ones with like some white white jogger bottoms sort of thing. Um, so yeah, you can you can do that and uh, you can then change your entire roster of teammates so that you know maybe they're all wearing that sort of baby blue style. Um, might not necessarily be wearing the exact same thing, but if you go out there with a, a similar a similar look in terms of the the color of your kits and stuff, hey, I think that would work quite well. It would uh, please uh, be um, appealing to the eye anyway. So here's a look at some of the tattoos you can get. Like I said, I'm wearing like all long sleeve stuff at the moment, so it's not really uh, appearing for you. But um, there are there was a, a good options there of, of of the sort of tattoos that you can get on the game. Of course, I spent some Volta coins on this light blue jacket, um, and then I basically did it so I can go back and put those um, those sort of like Jordan looking shoes on because uh, I thought they looked quite cool uh, to begin with. Like the yeah the light blue high top sneakers as they're called. Um, but that's how my uh, how my character's going to look in Volta. I think I might take the glasses off uh, and just go there looking. Uh, Looking fresh, and there's uh, uh, obviously how you can change the the appearance of um, of your other teammates on the pitch. So we have a, a lady here that we eventually end up putting in in the same shoes, but then just like a denim jacket. So it's sort of light blue uh, and white again. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is uh, pro clubs and Volta customization and how it sort of links across this year. I hope you've 
found it useful or let me know if you think it's very similar to a previous year uh, or, or if we've got some nice new stuff in there. Someone that doesn't play it too much, I don't really know, but it's something that I really wanted to show you guys uh, in case it was not out there already from uh, some of the other people from this capture event. So thank you for watching. Do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed or you found it useful. And don't forget, of course, to subscribe to my channel. Uh, lots of FIFA 23 content over here. So uh, definitely check it out and, um, and stick around, right? Because we've got the road to glory coming real soon. Uh, take it easy, ladies and gentlemen. I'll catch you again tomorrow with some more content. I'll see you then. Peace.